Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Black Mesa Incident. Moving on to part two. It was time. Dr. Gordon Freeman stepped into the test chamber, greeted by the anti-mass spectrometer, the machine that will open up the portal to Zen. Gordon spotted a big window, a window and behind it was Dr. Griffiths, giving Gordon a thumbs up. The intercom turned on, followed by the voice of Dr. Harrison. <clears throat> All right, everything seems to be in order. Yes, yes, everything is set and ready to go. Gordon, I'm going to need you to go up to that balcony up there and just wait for my word. Gordon did as he was told. He saw a ladder leading to the metal balcony with gadgets and gizmos and a computer screen on it. Gordon climbed up the ladder to the computer. Dr. Harrison chimed in again. All right, now there is a red button on the keyboard in front of you, doctor. Just press it when the hatch opens. The red button had a hatch on it, blocking anyone from pressing it. The hatch gave the impression that you aren't supposed to press it yet, at least. The hatch opened and Gordon flipped the switch. The rotor for the machine activated, producing a high, constant drone sound effect. Okay, Freeman, we'll take it from here, Dr. Harrison said. Yet again, over the intercom, the machine started to shoot four yellow lasers at the bottom nozzle, creating a strange apparition. Dr. Griffiths then said over the intercom, Okay, Gordon, the Zen sample should be coming to you now. Suddenly, a Zen crystal emerged from a hatch on the floor. The Zen crystal was held by a wagon, so you could push the wagon to the spectrometer without hurting yourself. Gordon went behind the wagon and pushed it forwards towards the spectrometer. The Zen crystal hit the lasers, then it all went down. There was an explosion. It sent Gordon violently flying backwards in the air. His spine hit the wall really hard, but luckily his HEV suit took most of the damage. The robotic voice in the HEV suit said, Major fracture detected. Gordon heard the scientists over the intercom freak out. Gordon, are you okay? Oh my god! Powerful lasers shot out of the nozzle, smashing the windows and zapping the scientists to death. Gordon can hear the frantic screams of the scientists saying, Oh dear, open the silo door! Help! Their yells were drowned out by the malfunctioning electric sounds of the broken spectrometer. It was a crisis. Then everything went black. Gordon, miraculously still alive, opened his eyes to find himself lying down on a mushy ground, and the sky was black with dark green particles floating around. He got up and saw himself on a floating island. It was something he'd never seen before. He was in the dimension, or border world, Zen. He saw two tall, gigantic creatures looming over him. He saw several dog-sized creatures with a tentacle-like face, eating insects off the ground. As it turns out, there are, there are indeed hostiles in Zen. But then, Gordon teleported back to the facility. A loud siren hurt Gordon's ears. The test chamber was seemingly alienated. The spectrometer was shattered and there were no scientists present. Only their corpses remain. The gate to the test chamber was busted open and there was the corpse of Dr. Griffiths. He had a massive black hole on his body. He was most definitely zapped by the powerful laser. Gordon quickly left the area to search for any living individuals. He occasionally saw corpses here and there, but blood and malfunctioning machinery were just every, everywhere he looked. Dr. Gordon Freeman now had to face the unforeseen consequences of, well, not his actions, but everyone's.